guys, it's Healthy Thrower. What's up? So Dustin Roby, he throws at Hunt, he throws at Swak, he does so many events. He is a javelin thrower for my high school. He's worked with me for years. I am so excited to have him on. But yeah, let's go. So for the viewers, tell them where you go to school and well, what you do. I go to Southwestern Oregon Community College. It's in Coos Bay, Oregon. And Coos Bay, Oregon is on the coast. So it's raining all the time. And it makes for some quality ring time. <laughs> I redshirted okay. and then I did javelin, discus, and hammer. And then I brought home a shot put for the summer, so I'm working on all four events. What are you studying at school? Uh, right now, I'm just getting my uh, degree of general education for a transfer, yeah. but I don't plan on transferring. Yeah. I, I just plan on going straight into work and trying to get a gig out of gym. How many people did you have on your team this year? Uh, 20 regular people who'd show up. 20 like consistent? Yeah. How often do you practice? Would be uh, Monday through Friday, 2 to 3. In the winter time it would rain a lot. Okay, so we yeah. we would go to our mat room, which is just the judo room. Mm -hmm. And then we would we'd set up a little uh, net and we'd throw into the net. And oh, then, that's nice. And then those days we would throw for like 15 minutes and then we'd go lift. Uh, but during the spring time when it came close to NWAC, yeah. we really focused on, you know, not throwing but drilling. NWACs is basically the uh, NCAA championship for community colleges. Here you redshirted. Yep. And then, so next year, mm -hmm. we're bringing home the title? Yeah. Okay. In well, multis and job? Uh, hopefully multis, but definitely in the throwing. Okay. Oh, all, all four? Yeah, because I, uh, I, for uh, the, my marks, I qualified for all four. Okay, okay. That's exciting. You and Brody. Oh, yeah. One and two? Yep. Let me do. What do you miss most about high school track? <sighs> it does nothing against my school, but the co the quality of coaches. Okay. Yeah. My, my, my college doesn't have a, you know, full-time throwing coach. Mm-hmm. Uh, our our throwing coach quote would be the head coach okay and he would you know he has to divide his time between us and the sprinters uh -huh. oh wow and then so we we obviously would get most of his time mm -hmm. just because we brought in the most points this year nice but it would be i really miss having like oval and jackson mm -hmm. as you know throwing coaches yeah. back on it and they they made it really easy for someone who's like never thrown before uh -huh. to learn how to throw. And I think that's like the key part of being like a good coach. Uh -huh. Kind of like getting that platform ready to you know, build a good foundation, like good house. Um, the what would you say like goes into that platform that like, if you were a coach, like what kind of things would you make sure? Really understanding, you know, your, the event you're teaching. So like, let's say you're, you know, teaching javelin yeah. it helps and you know being a masters you know, champion mm -hmm. holder it's just like having done it yourself yeah yeah it's like they're like okay you need to go faster like in this and it's like i can't necessarily go that fast and like keep my form yeah like you have to like find that balance between like speed and form because like obviously you want to go as fast as you can but also keep the form it's like if you haven't actually done that like gone as fast as you can and kept form it's like oh we'll just do it but right. if you haven't actually mm -hmm. like full speed and throwing your left leg down is not an easy thing to do teach you the basics of how to throw a javelin Maybe we our, our stiffest pole vault is 100 and are you doing multis i don't try to do Okay, okay. Shout out to this kid learning how to parallel park. You got it, Shield. Where do you get your film mostly? Uh, just off of YouTube. Mm -hmm. And I have like specific drills to do. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Like, like a lot of stuff with like med ball blocking. Oh, okay. Because I've, like, I've always had an issue with like my block. 
it's always hard. People are like, how do I like train? And it's like, it really depends on where you're at. It's like, there's not like one clear, do this many reps, this, they, you know, it's like so different depending on where you're at in your season. I always have to work so much more on my running than anything else in the spring. Yeah, I feel like in college, you find out what your passion is mm. for, you know, track and like what event you want to do. I and mean, that's really something you want to, like, you know, be the best you can be at. And it's like, if you like, and go through like college sports, like it's so like intense and has to be such a big part of your life that it's like, if you're not into it, you don't do it. Right. Just walk in front of the car. I didn't hit them. Your favorite, um, like memory of track? Oh, the, I always loved the bus rides back from state. Yeah. Those were, cause those were like the people who were serious. And then coming back, you know, everyone's all like loosey goosey. I remember when uh, John Proctor and uh, Aaron, uh, shoot, Eichler? yeah, mm -hmm. like during season, they're kind of they're like you know, you know, brow down, focused. <laughs> yeah. And but then like coming home, they're always cracking jokes and Jack Norby and Cameron Davis. Oh yeah. <sighs> Those were the days. I like, you know, people say, hey, you reminisce too much. And I'm like, ah, no. I just, I just like to have, you know, a couple goofy thoughts. I think it. it's good. What's the point in doing it if you don't get to enjoy the memories? Right. Absolutely. Did you see the new Lion King? Yeah, actually I did. Was it good? It was okay. Yeah. It was like, it was good. I saw it in IMAX too. Oh, wow. There's just a lot of times when they were just like running, you know, like running through the fields. And I like wanted to see the action. Right. And they only sang Akuna Matata once, and that was the best part. We should float the river. Oh. I got a ton of tubes. Guess who, uh, me asking if I want to float the river this year? Oh. Lana Bateman. What up, Lana? OG squad member of the track team. Is that person walking their cat? No way. <laughs> That's awesome. What are you, like, most proud of? Us just making it to state. I still feel like it, you know, my family came out. And we went and got pizza afterwards, and I was like, wow, this is, I'm really happy with this. I just really regret not doing discus and shot put in high school. I would, Why do you regret not doing discus and shot put in high school? Uh, because now that I'm in college, I'm trying, like, new things besides mm -hmm. javelin. And then I found out that I really enjoy discus and shot put. So if you don't feel like you want to do something, you should try it anyways. Point taken. What would be your like advice for like any high schoolers watching, like who are like interested in maybe pursuing college or like not sure if they want to like really commit to the next level? Like, what would you tell them? Um, for y'all kids out there, uh, I would just say if you have the slightest, you know, passion about it, or you know, just you have fun doing it, you should. Go out and do it, even if it's like a, a red, like a red shirt or a walk-on, you know, or it's like being a part of a club team. You should do it, you know. My grandpa always told me, you know, do stuff without regrets. Learn and keep on doing better things every day. You make yourself a better person. What would you be? What would you? What would you advise? If you're not enjoying, you know, your track. And if you're not enjoying your facility, then you're not really gonna enjoy the time. Um, I really like my track because the you know the hammer and javelin pit are really separate from the track itself, so I I don't have to worry about you know people being in the way and stuff. So really scout out your facility and like visit before yeah, yeah. and then talk to the coaches and then talk to the people who run you know the rec center or the gym talk to them and be like hey is this like someone I want to you know see every day or like once or twice a day uh -huh. and, then, and then judging on you know your outcome you know follow it or don't what is something that you wish you would have known as a younger thrower that you know now um I wish I knew how important general strength 
is I didn't in high school I didn't really focus on you know specific numbers or specific lifts I just did what I felt like I wanted to do that day mm-hmm. and that really you know kicked my butt when I came into college our high school is currently under a lot of construction but they left the beautiful track we did so much med ball in high school yeah so much med ball I hate I hated med ball in high school all I took was PE <laughs> oh yeah Alright guys, thanks for watching. You can find me and Destin's Instagrams below. My blog is below. And yeah, any things that you want to see on this vlog next, please comment below. Let us know what you think.